So the SK450 is a great little frame for starting off with, but I've probably shown this before, but the flex on these arms is quite a bit. So uh, not ideal for the quadcopter to have so much flex going on. So I'm going to basically move all of this kit onto this S500 frame, which basically is a much stiffer plastic. So that's my next project. And uh, see how it flies when it's all together. I'm beginning to get a little bit concerned about the uh, multi-rotor hobby. This is the second frame in a row that I have received that has come with instructions. It's just not quite right. Anyway, I'll get on with the build. So I get to use my wiring loom that I built up for the SK450. Just four millimeter bullets. You can see the, the upturn of the frame, which is the main reason I bought this one. Give it a bit more stability. As you can see now with one motor on, if you give it a twist, it doesn't move a lot. That's about the same force that I was applying to the SK450 frame. And it moves about a millimetre, whereas the SK450 moved about a centimetre. <laughs> so there's a big difference in the, in the flexibility of the frame. So this is quite possibly my fastest build ever, given that the ESCs and motors are all set up. All I did was mark the ESCs, whether they were clockwise, and I've left the props on so there's no mistaking. Just working straight back on the new frame. My, my concern with this frame, my well, not really a concern, it's just an observation, is that there is no X configuration slots for mounting your, your board. So, very odd, bit of a limitation, but there you go. Looks like we'll be taping this one on. Well, back to the build. And there it is. Just your KK on to test it. Afro ESCs, 1400 KV, 28, 2826 motors. Battery underneath. We'll uh, take her out and see how she flies in the morning.